What is happening, everybody? Cosmic Wonder gets all the scoops and the breakdowns. So let's check this out, see what I may have missed. And uh, hey, you never know. I was extremely worried about WandaVision. Ended up loving it. Maybe it will be the same. You never know. Let's get it. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. And today, Marvel Studios dropped the Miss Marvel teaser trailer on us out of nowhere. Now, typically, I'm aware of the trailers before they're going to drop at least a couple of days before, at the very least. But it looks like Marvel Studios is trying to be a little bit sneaky now, because this took everybody by surprise. Now, I'm traveling right now, so I don't have my normal setup. So I'm going to give you my initial reaction right now and also do the trailer breakdown. I don't have any camera set up with me right now to do a live reaction to the trailer, but things should be back to normal next week. So right off the bat, just a few face. thoughts initially about the trailer, <laughs> and we'll dive right into the breakdown after. This is definitely a show that they're trying to use to appeal to younger audiences. It's definitely a different type of show than they've done before. I think so far, with the Disney Plus shows for Marvel, they've all kind of had the same feel. Even What If pretty much had the same feel as the other shows. Now, of course, they are about different things, but for the most part, they have have that Marvel feel and this does too but it kind of takes it up a notch adding to the comic e feel of this now the trailer is really cool how they do all the pop-ups it looks really cartoony it's kind of like her journal is coming to life in the trailer I'm not sure if this is actually going to be in the actual series I think they may just be doing this for the trailer but either way it's really cool for a first official teaser and again it be is interesting if they kept it in there audience. might work also I love blinded by the light by the weekend it made for a perfect feel for this trailer. And what I really like, actually, about this trailer is that they're kind of giving us a look at what it's like in this that. universe for somebody who doesn't actually have powers but idolizes these people with superpowers. In a way, it's kind of like us right now, all of us nerds who love superheroes and wish we could be them, but superheroes actually exist in this universe. And I don't know if that would be worse or better. Like, dang, they're actually real. I, actually I don't want to live in a world where they really not. exist. Exactly. Now, it shows her... These super villains who exist, too. ...guidance counselor <laughs> talking about how her grades are kind of slipping because she's daydreaming all of the time about being a superhero, about being prom queen. Kind of typical teenage stuff, you know, until she stumbles upon a pair of bands, is what I'm going to call them, and we'll talk about these because I do believe that these are, in fact, the Nega Bands, and I believe that they do have a really strong connection to the Fantastic Four, and I think there's a lot going on with them here in this teaser trailer and Miss Marvel in general, okay. and, of course, the Marvels that is coming with Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau, but they completely changed Kamala Khan's powers, and let's talk about that right yeah. now, but really quick, did you notice they gave us an official release date for Miss Marvel? At the very end, it says Miss Marvel original series streaming June 8th, oh, damn, which is crazy because I actually called this because I heard we were getting this trailer before Thor Love and Thunder, and I thought this was going to come out before, hmm. so I said, hey, it's probably coming out in June. Here we are. Now, this will overlap cool. with Obi-Wan Kenobi a little bit for you Star Wars fans, and Marvel is me. starting to produce a lot of content now, so it's really awesome for us fans to have so much going on right now. Now, back to Kamala Khan's powers, and they do make it a point to show us that it is Kamala Khan. Kamala, Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. And obviously, we have the biggest confirmation in this trailer that we've all been waiting for, but Fisto confirmed 100% right here. Now, Kamala's powers <laughs> in this teaser trailer are a lot different than they are in the comics. In the comics, Kamala Khan gets exposed to Terrigen Mist, and this activates her inhuman gene, which gives her powers. Now, clearly, they have changed this, which is very interesting because Miss Marvel was actually a pretty popular comic. When Kamala's inhuman powers get activated, she gets morphogenic abilities. She can extend and enlarge her limbs and her body. Now, we kind of see this in the trailer, but not in the typical way that we've seen in the comics. This kind of looks like an extension of energy, and it looks like she mm. has to use these bands that she finds in her attic. Now, it's very clear based on what we've seen in this trailer that these bands actually give her her powers. She's not exposed to anything, and it looks like Marvel really is kind of stepping away from the Inhumans in the MCU. We thought that this might be how they come in, but it looks like they are going a completely different direction. So Kamala gets her powers from these bands, and it looks like, based off of what she said, it gives her the ability to somewhat control some cosmic energy. 
Now, as I mentioned before, to me, these kind of look like a fresh take on the Nega Bands. I also thought Quasar immediately and thought these could be the Quantum Bands, but they definitely seem to be more of the Nega Bands. Especially because the Nega Bands can be linked back to the Kree. And considering that Miss Marvel is going to be in the Marvels, and we assume that the Kree are going to be a part of that movie as well, that makes more sense. Plus, the powers that the Nega Bands would give Miss Marvel seem to be on point with what we see here in this trailer. Now, the Nega Bands are a powerful Kree relic that have been around for a millennia. And what they do is transform mental energy into transform. physical energy, which is definitely what okay. seems like is going on in this trailer. Now, here's where things kind of get interesting. In the comics, the Nega Bands were awarded to Captain mar -Mel. They were awarded to him by the Kree Supreme Intelligence. However, they quickly trapped him in the negative zone. And if you look at this very specific scene in the trailer, it looks like Kamala at one point in time goes to a different dimension. It looks like she's at a school dance and then all of a sudden she flips over backwards. She's still at the school dance, but it looks like she's in somewhat of a different dimension here. And this could actually be the negative zone. Now, this is really exciting because the negative zone has huge implications for the Fantastic Four. We know a Fantastic Four movie is already in development at Marvel Studios right now. We know it's not that far away. And if this truly is the negative zone, could this be a setup for the Fantastic Four to eventually make their way to the MCU? Hopefully, nice. that is the case. And I'll do a breakdown of just the Fantastic Four and the negative zone a little bit later on. But keeping to Kamala Khan, what's very interesting is that it only seems to be one bracelet here in the trailer. And Kamala Khan actually does wear a bracelet in the comics. Now, this bracelet gives her no powers whatsoever. It's simply an heirloom passed down to her from her grandma. And she just simply likes to wear the bracelet because what it means to her. And it looks like they're kind of doing a play off that in this show. But that kind of makes you think, do any of her ancestors have powers? Were any of her ancestors superheroes before? Now, Kamala Khan is a Pakistani-American growing up in Jersey City. And as you can tell from the trailer, she idolizes superheroes, specifically Captain Marvel. We see her wearing a shirt in the very beginning. Captain Marvel is right there in the beginning. To her left is the Wasp, and to her right, it definitely looks like Valkyrie here. I'm going to go ahead and say that's who it is. But again, keep in mind, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, is going to be in the Marvels. So how exactly is this connection made? Well, if this really is a version of the Negabands that she's wearing on her wrist that gives her her powers, it would make sense because it's a Kree relic. The Marvels is Captain Marvel number two, and the first Captain Marvel film explored the war between the Kree and the Skrull, and kind of made the Kree out to be bad guys here. So if Kamala Khan has stumbled upon some ancient Kree powerful relic, that's probably going to put her in some type of trouble, and it's definitely going to attract the attention of Captain Marvel. Whether that she has to defend Kamala Khan from Kree, or maybe the bands actually only can bond to one user at a time, and they're stuck with Kamala Khan. So she actually mm. recruits her to help. We'll have to wait and see, but in the meantime, let me know what you thought about this very first trailer, teaser trailer, for Miss Marvel. It was terrible! On June 8th. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you going to watch it? Let me know. It Don't was a big old piece of trash, Mr. Wonder. News. For live updates, I said, uh, uh, Twitter, and as always, thank you I don't want to see another trailer like this again. Alright, so, get over to Cosmic Wonder, of course. Subscribe, tell them Tyrone Magnus sent you. And, um, here's the thing. Here's the crazy thing, the wild thing about what is Marvel. Whatever Marvel put out, puts out is connected to its overall cinematic universe. So I have to watch this. People are, because I have to watch this if I want to be caught up and know everything. A lot of you are like, I'm skipping it. I ain't watching it, and I get it. You, that's totally up to you. But I have to watch this. Because I want to be in the know and understand certain things that are going on that may resurface in other movies or shows. <laughs> Excuse me. Like, everybody that watched What If... For one example, is when we saw that Doctor Strange trailer, and he was like, "Things just got out of hand." We was like, "Yo, wait, is that him? Is it him?" And it was like a, you know, because I think people were thinking, "Well, I don't know if what if is really going to connect." That may just be him, and if it is, it's like, "Yo, what if connects with this? This is crazy." Does you know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to have to, you know. 
if this ends up being bad, I'm going to have to suffer through this for the knowledge, for the Marvel knowledge that I need to watch the cinematic universe. So to continue to fully enjoy and understand the cinematic universe, I'm going to have to watch this. So I hope it's good. I don't care who it's geared to. People are like, this is a kid's show. Why would you be interested? <laughs> well, because many shows that are quote unquote geared toward teens or children or family are very good. Just because it's geared toward children or teenagers or family doesn't mean it can't be good. As long as it ain't a big old piece of trash, I'm going to be fine with it. So look for my reaction to it when it comes out on YouTube memberships. Make sure you join, become a Super Magnus site, or Patreon. Okay? So any place you want to go, it's going to be there. And I'll just put out some more Baki and some... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? how do you call it? Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I put that out today. So come on over and watch. 10 million subscribers. Woo!